In this example, we're going to be looking at acute inflammation and necrosis. Now, normally when we talk about acute inflammation in the course, we're talking about usually response to infection. In this case, what we're going to be talking about is in the context of an esophageal biopsy. This patient has reflux, and you can see that this is esophagus. Uh, you can see the squamous epithelium here. And they took this biopsy because there was an ulcer. So this is the normal squamous epithelium that you can see at low power. And right next door we have the ulcer. So at low power an ulcer looks like just this uh, grumous pink debris and you can see scattered cells within it. And So we're going to go at higher power and we're going to look at those cells. And so here you can see that there's a lot of inflammatory cells scattered around as well as necrotic keratinocytes. So these are the necrotic keratinocytes and you'll see they have undergone coagulative necrosis meaning that you can still see the outline of the cell but you can't see the nucleus anymore. In addition you have pockets of neutrophils and so these are the neutrophils you can tell because they have multilobated nuclei and pink cytoplasm. Uh, the background that they're all set in is blood and fibrin as part of the inflammatory uh, exudate that's present along with this. So this is an example of acute inflammation and ulceration with necrosis of the epithelial cells that you see in an esophageal ulcer secondary to reflux.